what's happening y'all here we are today y'all been requesting it so we're going to take a look at jillian martin now some of y'all have been saying you really like her release as well you saw uh, um, daria's release the other day uh, a lot of good feedback there a lot of people really enjoy watching her throw the ball but then this was the other one that a lot of people had in their mind saying she throws it just as good um, as a younger girl and I would agree, she does throw it very well. So we're going to break it down a little bit and show you what we've got um, in this uh, event. This was at the 2021 PWBA Kickoff Classic. So we're going to break this down. Let me get over here to this and screen. There we go. We'll let this go slow. So from here at the release point, you can see her hand is definitely... Her fingers are right at the equator, if not uh, a little bit below. If I drew a straight line across over there, you would be able to see that. Her fingers are below or right at the equator, which is a good position. She could be lower. She could definitely be a little bit stronger. But, again, it just depends on what she's bowling on. And right here you can see, I know some of you are going to probably say, oh, but look, her hand's to the outside. Well, look how, how deep she's trying to play the lanes. You know, she's trying to play further left. Your hand has to get to the outside and create a little rotation in order to get that ball to make the motion you're looking for on the inside part of the lane. If your hand is too far to the inside and you're rolling up the back of it too much, you're going to get a lot of hook stop. And that ball's going to uh, end up bailing down lane and not make around the corner. So if we let this play through, you'll see even here, just a light little swish seven pin. So even then, she probably could get her hand around the side just a little bit more. Let's see if we can find another shot of her. You know, when we look at the difference here, with someone like Liz Johnson and where her release is. Get this out of the way. See a big difference there. See her fingers are way up on the top side of the ball, not even anywhere close near the, the equator of the ball. But that's okay because of how she's trying to play the lanes. But this is also another reason why Liz Johnson really likes to play the lane straighter. And she's so much better playing the lane straight than she is playing them in. Not that she can't play them in, but she is much, much better when she can play straighter up the lane like this. And you can see she's really not giving the ball away at all. She's just throwing it right up at the at the one three pocket and she stones a nine pin there. And that's that's a product of her hand being off to the side of it a little bit too. If we watch and look at her release here at the bottom, she's at the top and on the side. So she's gonna have a little bit of side rotation and some top spin, which is gonna make that ball have some decent motion in the back part of the lane, or at least that's, I mean, it's not going to go crazy, but it's going to be to where when it does finally pick up, it's going to continue to go left. So that's where she runs into a stone nine there. If we come over here to Jillian on the right lane, see where she's at in this. Yeah, another one where she's, she's definitely on the outside of the ball, but look how low her fingers are. If we draw an equator there, she's definitely got her fingers below the equator nice and strong. The one thing I would say, and what, what's holding her back from being even stronger, is that left shoulder and her spine tilt being a little too far forward. That spine tilt being really far forward, it's not that it's you know real far forward, but it's farther forward than I would, I would re recommend. The further up she can stand up and get her knee a little bit lower, get that left arm to be a little bit quieter, make it easier for that hand to get a little bit lower on the ball, and she can create even more power. But that's why she has that open hand flail release. She's trying to make sure it gets to go into the right. So she keeps her hand very soft, flicks it up so that way it floats to the right to make that corner in the back part of the lane. Good shot there. But that left shoulder being quieter would definitely get that ball to the right a lot easier and make it a little bit easier to be strong at the bottom too. Here's another shot on the left lane. See how that left shoulder is just flailing back which is what's causing her hand to go to the outside a little bit quick but it's okay she gets away with it because that's because she's playing the inside part of the lane but again if you pay attention to her hand it is below that equator she's rolling through it and just a little bit to the outside this ball looks pretty good 10 back all right, one more time with Liz here. Where 
we go. Now let's go to Liz on the left lane here. She leaves the 10 pin. Dang it. There we go. You see how much straighter Liz is playing than Jillian. See, she's on. She's not even close to the release point yet, and her hand's just dead on top of it. And look where her left shoulder is. But again, she gets away with it because that's what she's doing. That's what she's trying to play. She's trying to play the lanes to the right, straight angle through the front, just kind of flip it, give it a little bit of side spin, so that way the ball does drive through the pins a little bit. But she wraps a 10 pin there. That one didn't read the lane quite early enough. But anyway, so that's that. Uh, a lot of people request kind of talking about Jillian's release there. So, um, again, it has nothing to do with how good or bad a release is. It, the, the women, I mean, even Liz there, her release is great. Uh, but if she were to want to create a little bit more power, that's where we would have to go. We would have to kind of get our hand to the inside more and a little bit lower on the equator of the ball, get the left shoulder to quiet down, all of those types of things. So that's what creates power. That doesn't necessarily mean it's a bad ball roll. It just means that they're lacking power because of those situations. Jillian was in a little bit better position, not nearly as good as Daria in my opinion, but still pretty dang good. So anyway, just wanted to go through this one a little bit. Maybe we'll break down a couple more uh, women's releases for you and we can see those a little bit later down the road. So I'm out of here, guys. We'll see you later.